Hey, dude, how's it going? Good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you very much. I'm not too bad. Uh, huge congratulations on the film. Good, good fun, this film. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was this as much fun, fun to make as it was to watch? Because it felt like you guys were having a, a bit of a blast on this. I'm glad that translated because, yeah, we were. We, we really were. It was great having Millie on set. I had some of my age, but yeah, some of the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get to do your own stunts? That was another question. Because see, yeah. I know there's some some dangerous bits in this one. Yes, I would love to say that we did, but um, I can't. Uh, no, there was the, the train stunt and then there's falling out of the bag, but I gave the hard bits to my stunt double uh, called James, but I did sort of the easy bit. So I did the coming out of the bag and then getting out of the bag, he did the falling sort of thing. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's where the true art of the stunt, stunt yeah, stuff is anyway, isn't it? Falling out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about your your character and, and what, what drew you to him, because he's... He's a complex guy, but he has a lot of charm and a lot of charisma. So I just wondered what it was about him that kind of drew you to him. I, th I think he's, I like the fact that he's not just one thing and that he's not one thing throughout the whole film. I think he's a really well-written character and has moments of, you know, he's really, where he's really genuine and, and, and sweet. And then when he's charming and a bit cheeky, um, I think there's, there's so much going on, but you realise that underneath his bravado that he likes to, you know, portray, he's, He's, he's quite lost and really innocent and inexperienced in this massive world. And I think it's really nice playing, playing that balance. And Enola saves him. And it's, I, think, I think that really comes through. I hope it did for you, but you know, he's, he's not this, not this um, stuck up, arrogant guy. He's actually living quite a tough life at home, pretty much. Yeah. And uh, obviously you and Millie, obviously fantastic on screen together. There's this relationship that, that starts as this, you know, kind of button of heads and then becomes a friendship and then, you know, may go into to other things as well. I mean, how easy for, was that for you guys to, to play? And were you allowed to kind of play around in, in, that, in that environment together? Yeah, definitely. That's what I think made a lot of some of our scenes. We were really comfortable. We'd known each other for, you know, a good, good few weeks um, before starting filming. So we were really comfortable playing around with the dynamic of it, basically. And, the director was so on board and invested in, in us as a, you know, as a relationship. Um, yeah, so also being comfortable with her, I'm not afraid to try, try something that might make me look embarrassing, which is super important. <laughs> and also that's, I mean, in terms of acting, that's what you want, isn't it? To be able to kind of be, not let off the leash so far, but to be able to have the room to kind of maneuver. Because it, it felt like you guys really, really, all of you, all the cast got a bit of space to do that. Exactly, and then with the director to sometimes pull you in if you know you're not, <laughs> you're going a bit too far but yeah definitely I think that's what it's all about experimenting and learning yeah yeah and in terms of the story I mean it's obviously we've, we've seen Sherlock Holmes but this is a very uh, female driven story with Enola and her mother and it's a great story I mean how important do you think it is that even though this is a period piece that the themes and the the stories that are behind this one are, are kind of uh, very very much prevalent to, to to 21st century women and, and kind of the politics and everything yeah, definitely I mean the right to vote and sort of the power that your vote has is completely relevant in America right now. And I love it when period pieces and books have themes that become more and more relevant. I think that's, I mean, it's probably a bad indictment on humanity, but I think, I, I, yeah, no, I think it's really good that you can, it doesn't feel like too much of a step back in time. You know, there's a lot of issues that are prevalent today and really, really relevant now that exist back then. Yeah, so I think that's an easy way into the film, into the great work. Yeah. And obviously, just quickly for you, I mean, you're you're starting out in your career. You've had some some good some good roles so far. I mean, uh, have you got aspirations of what you want to be, or are you kind of just finding your feet and you enjoy the the kind of the kind of unknown part of it at the moment? Yeah, but I mean, I want to do something different. I want to do something I can. I, I, I want to learn. I want to. I want to work with some 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 new people. Not actually. This is sounding like I don't like what I'm doing now. I absolutely love it, but I. Yeah, I think it's all about sort of variety and it's really exciting, you know, the endless possibilities. You don't know what job's going to come, which is super, super exciting. A little bit scary, but I, I, quite, I quite enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish you all the best, mate. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with the film and everything. Yes, thank you. Thanks, dude. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.